there any member in the chamber who wishes to vote or change their vote? If not, on this vote, the yeas are 56, the nays are 42. The nomination is confirmed. On May 10th, 2011, the Honorable Edward M. Chen won Senate confirmation to become a federal judge of the United States District Court for the Northern District of California and assumed office on May 12th. I went into the law uh, because I, I cared very deeply about uh, our justice system and the fair uh, dispensation of justice to, to all Americans. I was really motivated um, uh, in large part by the 60s and the civil rights movement and the call for public service, uh, starting with President Kennedy and, and uh, reading the speeches of Dr. Martin Luther King. I've known Ed Chen for many, many years and uh, followed his career very, very carefully. He is the first uh, Chinese American on, uh, on the U.S. District Court. Uh, something that had been sorely uh, overlooked for many, many years. I was actually first appointed to this court as a magistrate judge in 2001. And in fact, that was one of the reasons why I decided to apply for the position, because I felt that uh, there was a need uh, for this court to reflect the full diversity of the community. This court in particular, as it sits in San Francisco, has been at the gateway uh, of a lot of uh, immigration from the Pacific Rim into the United States. Federal courts had a, played a very important role, sometimes in a negative way, uh, upholding some of the discriminatory legislation. I recall an 1853 case where in the People Against Hall, uh, a Chinese was a witness to a murder. And uh, at that time, the law said Indians could not testify against a white man. California Supreme Court wrote a decision saying, yeah, Chinese are Indians and uh, you couldn't trust them. You could not, uh, they have a, a history of, uh, of uh, lying and uh, why one day if you let them uh, testify in a court, uh, we would, uh, they would be sitting as jurors, a legislator, one, one day, one, why do you want to be a judge? And uh, that kind of set the tone of things in California uh, and perhaps throughout the country, uh, lots of anti-Chinese legislation building up to a crescendo in uh, 1882. Looking at the history of the court, that was a court that you could, uh, a Chinese American could go to. So some of the most important landmark cases in affecting the Asian American community um, have come from this very court, this district court. That includes the Wong Kim Ark case involving uh, citizenship by birthright, uh, Yick Wo versus Hopkins, a famous case involving discrimination against laundry uh, owners in, in San Francisco, Wong versus Hampton, uh, exclusion of non-citizens from federal civil service, Lau versus Nickel, which really was the beginning of bilingual education, and of course the Korematsu case in which Fred Korematsu, who resisted and uh, disobeyed the wartime internment order and exclusion order was tried and convicted here in this court and ultimately his conviction was overturned uh, in this very same court. The appointment of the first Chinese American to serve as a federal judge in the Northern District is particularly significant given the proud history of this court in upholding the rights of Chinese Americans in the face of this hostile environment. And I was especially honored after serving for eight years as a magistrate judge to have been recommended by Senator Feinstein and then uh, nominated by President Obama to be a district judge. Ten years on the bench, bipartisan support, uniformly positive reviews, more than 350 published opinions, and not a single criticism, not one. My nomination ended up being a little more controversial than I think uh, I'd expected and hoped. Usually confirmations, uh, nominations to the district court are not uh, as controversial as nominations to the Supreme Court or to the Court of Appeal uh, because we are the, the subordinate lowest court in the federal system. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, controversy developed in part because of my former work as an ACLU lawyer. In some ways, um, it, it was a blessing because the community, I think, really responded and became engaged and became uh, very involved in the process. And I think there was a lot of 
community education, um, as well as organizing, and the issues that, that arose out of my confirmation battle um, kind of transcended me as a person. It really reached to larger issues uh, about the kind of judges that, that we want to appoint, about diversity on the federal bench, uh, about whether uh, we can have people who represent uh, uh, people from all walks of life, the poor and the disadvantaged as well as, as, well as the rich and corporations. Um, can we have people of differing views and different life experiences on the bench? And, um, and, and whether the local community can have its voice heard within the halls of Washington, D.C.